Yo, what is going on gangsters? Welcome back to Jake's Journey Mate, episode four of Operation Boxer. This isn't the episode I expected to be doing right now. This isn't the one I expected to be editing as I'm doing this and talking to you people because after doing those rear windows, we did the side windows, um, but this episode is actually about the rear ladder that we are fitting. Reason being, <laughs> reason being is because I deleted all of the footage for the side windows. So the sliding door window and the other ones and bits and bobs like that, there was actually a 15 minute video coming for you just on fitting side windows. So to those that were like, yo, we want to see every single little bit along the way of the van build. I'm sorry, man, because I deleted that shit and I don't know where it is and I'm really peed off about it. But what I'm going to do now before we go into fitting the ladder is I'm just going to show you the windows that we put on the sides of the van because they look flipping beast, man, I swear down. So here she is on the sliding door. We have got a big ass opener. Half of that opens up and I tell you what, it is decent. I'll show you from the inside in a minute, but that is the bad boy that sits there. And then the other side set up is something that I've not seen before. So on this side, we have got one big ass pano window that is set back in the center of the van. And then we've got a little one up top, which actually is going to be just above the cooker inside the van and give us a bit of ventilation between that and the max air fan on top for when cooking and doing all that good stuff. Also, we've got the rears on the back. I'm trying not to show you guys into the back of the van because the build's actually a lot further along than this video is, and I don't want to show you guys yet. The back ladder is on there, so let's get on with that video and show you how we fit it. <laughs> Love it. Mr. GP, get to him. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Jake's Jenny, mate. Today is featuring Girl Outdoors, <laughs> Becky. <laughs> Basically, what we're going to be doing today is building this ladder. So, I've got a ladder here from Rhino Roof Racks. And um, it's not a roof rack, it's a ladder. And it's made of aluminium, so it's rather light. So, the, by the looks of this here, the side struts are made of aluminium. And the steppy bits on the bottom tops, bottom and tops, bottom and tops. Yeah, come and join in, come on, Bex. Um, tops, on the bottoms and tops is um, the plastic. And to be honest, mm, I said, hey, Bex, hey, Bex, let's go and build a ladder. And she said, how do we do that? And I said, I ain't got a king clue, mate. But well, we'll figure it out, Makes won't we? Makes two of us, then. <laughs> Makes two of us. So, yeah, um, we get my power tool out and oh, really? I'm going to drill some holes. Lovely. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> go check her out, go outdoors. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification. Um, as you can see, Jake's journey, mate, always using the correct tools for the job. What have we got? Wow, that's actually well cool. Max weight is 120 kilograms. So, if you're feeling heavy, don't worry, it's got you covered. Just come in two boxes. You've got the ladder -y bit, and then the fixing -y bit, bits and bobs. Oh, this is bulky, man. Some hardcore shizzle. That's Ooh, the real deal. That's the real deal, isn't it? Like, you've got like these plates here. These must fit onto the inside of the van to stop it like pulling off and stuff. And then you've got the rubber bits that must also go on the inside to stop it being hurt. Let's figure it out, shall we? <laughs> nah, she's going now. Um, so say bye. Like bye, Becky. Bye. bye. Um, we'll be doing some adventures soon and bits and bobs yeah. like that. She's got a shoot, uh, but she'll be back to help me with bits and bobs with the van and stuff like that. I'm sure we'll get out on some nice new adventures soon. But for now, see in a bit. Let's get on building this ladder. We've got loads of bits and bobs here, but I need the instructions because I'm not really sure how to do it. First things first, we've got to put these two together, which makes the hole. So I found these bits, these bits here, they basically just slot down into the back of the ladder here. You put your bolt through and then you do the same with the other side and they basically just bridge that gap. So, easy really, let's do that now. All you do now is just slot the top half of the rack on and do the other side and do the same on the other side. And just attach those bolty bits. Nipped. Okay, chicken nuggets. So, what we've done is just got the panel here. And this is quite a cool design actually, because it just sits onto that plastic lip. I thought that was gonna be a bit sus, but it's okay. All I've done is sat that in place where I want the ladder in regards to being on the back door, uh, and then just marked it with a pen. And it looks all right, to be honest. So, yeah. The only thing that annoys me is that it's gonna cover this box or sign, but we could take that off and uh, move it. Right, so I've drilled through these four holes here. So these top two, are a decent normal size. We've got a bolt here, which is one of the ones that goes through 
for the top. And then the bottom two, I actually need to drill bigger because when it comes to putting those through, you've got to use these uh, these metal tubes. You basically slot those through first, then bolt through and do your bits and bobs. I've just put these in and they just slot in nice and dandy. They'll be fine. All I need to do now is put these rubber seals on the outside and uh, they just stop any sort of water getting in, I think. So we'll give that a bit of a, a, bit of a wipe down and get some rag. Peel it off. Oh, he's messed that up, honey. Stay at that. Sweet as. That's the top one, and then we'll do the same on the bottom. And the same detail in the bottom bit here. Just make sure it's cleaned out, make sure it's gonna stick to the surface decent. There's a bit of silicon that was across here that just stopped this metal bracket sitting in place. So I've just had to uh, slice that off a little bit. Just to take the top, top layer off, get it out of the way. That's both of those set in place now, so we can get the stuff on from the outside and then get it in place. Right, now that bracket is on the bottom there and that's how we're looking from the inside. So those metal bars actually mean that it goes through and bolts onto the inside of here. So then you've got that metal plate that sits behind here. What we'll do is afterwards go and uh, grind the excess of this bolt off with the grinder, just so it's nice and flat. So then when we put the uh, fascia on this door, it's not gonna stick through and look all crap. All I did here was just fit the bottom bracket of the ladder. This meant that I could accurately fit the top one and know that it would be aligned when it went into place. All I'm gonna do now is get the uh, brackets for the top of it, the ones that I put on here, and put them on there, and then attach them to this top bracket. What I can do then, mark it, drill it, and then get this on, and then we can just bolt that to the ladder, and it's all done. I used this opportunity to pre-tighten the brackets onto the mounting bracket. That meant that I could hold it firm in place, and it gave me a solid basis to align and drill through. I've marked up with red crosses where the holes need to be drilled. Because this is still just screwed into the bottom and on a pivot there, I haven't tightened them up properly. I'm just going to bring this back, like so, for now, while I drill the holes in, and then I'm good. I can just bring it back to it, like so. Yeah, bolt it in place. So, let's drill that. We need to put this rubber strip on just before this goes back into place. Now, just in case of pushing this in. Right, so we've run into a bit of a drama. Not a big drama, because it was foreseen. So, not too much a drama, but a foreseen one. So, see this piece of metal? There was originally only two holes in it, which were the outside ones of the top mounting point. Although there's four bolt holes, they only give you two bolts that don't have screws, and the instructions say to only put one in here and one in here. Well, I've already drilled four holes. So I've drilled an extra two holes into this. I've found, uh, acquired two um, extra bolts and nuts. So I'm gonna grind the end off here because the place that I've chosen to have the ladder is further over to the right than uh, this panel's allowing me. So I'm gonna grind down that line so I can uh, put it in the right place. And then I'm gonna fit this to the back, fit the ladder to that. And then we're in a flipping good place. All good to go, bolt it in and we're nipped. PPE, safety first, let's get this one. As long as I wait and we die to sight, the sight don't work matter. First things first, this layer. Right, just the final one. Solid AF. Check before you wreck. I'm happy with that, man. Let me just quickly show you the. Uh, inside of the door. So here's what we've got, here's the bottom part, that sits on the inside. The top bit of that sits on single panel and then the bottom bit has these lugs that the bolts can go through and sits on a dual panel. I'm gonna grind the ends of those off at some point when it comes to putting the fascia on. And then if you look towards the top, you've got one panel that has got four bolts through. That conventionally has two that are supplied by Rhino but I've added the extra because there is the room on the outside where you've got two that side, two that side. That's me stood on it now, jumping about, and it ain't moving nowhere, man. And then you're straight up ah, onto the roof, the full Velux selection. <laughs> Love it, man. I'm really impressed with the quality of that. Uh, it stands out, looks great. I've had to make a few modifications to offset it uh, further onto this right-hand side uh, than what it would be as standard. I think they generally want you to fit them in the center of the door. If I pushed it right, it sort of messed with having to uh, put it in the way of the lock. If it lined up perfectly with having it so the square was where the uh, handle was, um, I'd have put it there, but it was just 
getting too busy, getting too carnage. Uh, I don't really like the fact that it covers the boxer sign, um, so I'm probably going to move that so you can still see it. But other than that, I think it looks really good. It's all looking very sleek. I think I wish that the bars on each side were black. Maybe that's something I could do at a later date because they come off quite easily anyway from there. But it's looking pretty mint, man. It's shaping up. It's starting to look like the adventure wagon that we talked about. I've also just added the little black caps on that just cover all things. It is actually missing two, one for that side and one for the other, which is annoying. I'll try and see if I can get them to send me some. But these little caps just fill in the holes that are spare here, go on here and uh, do these bits and bobs. Even the inside ones, like in here, and just on these, and it looks really great, really cool, really, really stealth. And yeah, really liking that. And that is that, guys. Ladder on, bits and bobs done. Really starting to look like an adventure bus, like I said. But yeah, looking forward to the next one. We're getting into the internal stuff and getting it going. Been an absolute pleasure. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to know as soon as I upload a video.